Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the fourth element women's Xenos 7mm wetsuit. So this is a thicker wetsuit for diving in colder temperatures, um, but the whole aim of the Xenos range of fourth element wetsuits is to be very easy to get on and take off. And then whilst you're in it, plenty of flexibility. So despite it being a 7mm, it's not quite as clunky and big to actually physically get on. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so this is how it arrives, uh, a nice paper bag. Uh, I'm not entirely sure whether it comes directly from Fourth Element like this, or whether this is something that Simply Scuba does. Uh, we like to uh, sort of use our own uh, sort of paper packaging where we can. Uh, and then inside, you get the suit itself. Uh, and a, uh, a nice little uh, sort of cotton tote bag um, to do whatever you want with it, actually. Um, oh, it's actually organic um, cotton, which is quite nice. So you could use this for the suit itself um, between uses after you've cleaned and dried it. Uh, you could stow it away in this. I'm not a huge fan of uh, sort of folding wetsuits. Uh, if you roll it, it's probably a bit better and then kind of stow it inside. Um, but yeah, if you can't hang it up anywhere, uh, then yeah, you get a nice, nice little bag to uh, sort of travel it with. Um, then you get the suit itself. Uh, yeah, let's take a closer look. Okay, so starting up around the neck. So we have this rolled glide skin seal all the way around your neck. Glide skin is soft against your skin, but it's very effective at sealing against your skin. So it stops water from flushing in. Uh, the whole point of wetsuits is to let a bit of water in, but then hold it against your body Water moving around is what's gonna get you cold. If it's slow, then it keeps you nice and warm. So this, you have this Velcro uh, attachment point, uh, so you can adjust exactly how snug it is around your neck. So if you don't like it too tight, you can loosen it off a little bit, um, but to sort of help prevent water from getting in, you can tighten it up a bit. All of the stitching on this suit is double blind stitch. So you have blind stitch on the outside and then another blind stitch on the inside. Blind stitch doesn't go all the way through the neoprene and then back up again. It only goes about halfway through the neoprene before turning around. So that way there's no single um, kind of road for the water to get straight through that seam. It's Again, it slows the water um, from getting through all over the shoulders, all over the chest, and uh, sort of other details around the uh, the suit itself. You see this kind of detailing. This is adding a bit of grip for your shoulder straps, but it's also protecting your shoulders from your shoulder straps of your BCD, so they don't damage the wetsuit, but also they stay in position, so when you're moving around in the water, your BCD moves with you. The shoulder straps don't kind of move around. Moving down the arms, You'll see underneath your armpits, you have a big open panel, so there's no stitching underneath there that can rub and get uncomfortable. The neoprene itself is very, very stretchy, actually. Um, it's for a uh, for a seven mil wetsuit. This is very flexible, uh, and that kind of panders to the uh, the Xenos range, which is made to be very easy to get on and get off. But also, once you're in it, you can still move around. It's a very free wetsuit. It's so very comfortable. Moving down to the wrists, so the edge of the uh, the cuffs itself is just a raw cut, it's just cut straight through the neoprene, but on the inside we have more of this glide skin, so that sealing around your wrists, slowing the water from going up the sleeves and chilling you down. Moving down to the crotch of the, uh, the suit itself. So the crotch has a completely separate panel. So again, you don't have any stitching straight down the middle being very uncomfortable. Uh, it's just a big open diamond. So you have plenty of stretch. And when you're moving, um, it's still comfortable. It's not rubbing anywhere and you have plenty of stretch. Moving down to the knees. So the knees have this reinforced outer uh, sort of protective layer. Uh, if you're training, if you're spending time sort of on the bottom, uh, but just in general, wetsuits tend to wear at the knees the first. So um, yeah, you have this reinforced section um, just to protect that knee on your, on your suit so it stays looking newer for longer. And then moving down towards the ankles, the back of the ankle has this cut away. So that's just above your heel on your Achilles tendon. And that just makes it a bit more comfortable. You, um, you have less kind of bunching up there with your boots as well. Um, and that's mainly there for comfort and easy to, uh, to get your foot through as well. And on the inside, 
the main lining, this is the uh, the main lining that you'll see across most of the extremity of the suit. Um, it's very, very soft, very easy to uh, to get your sort of limbs through, but also it acts to uh, it acts a bit like a towel to uh, to stop and hold the water exactly where it is. Again, to uh, to keep you nice and warm. You also have this silicone detailing pattern uh, sort of all the way around on the inside. This is just kind of holding the bottom of the uh, the leg in position so it doesn't ride up, but also it acts a bit like glide skin to seal it a little bit, slow the water transition up through the suit. Looking at the back of the suit, again starting at the top. So we have a uh, this kind of flap of neoprene to adjust exactly how tight it is around your neck. So that's up at the top. You have two dots of Velcro. Um, one, this little dot is that traditional kind of scratchy uh, Velcro. This is the, uh, the opposite. So if it's ever in storage, you can sort of make those touch one another just to um, sort of stop it from damaging the suit. The main tab, this tab here, uh, this is the newer type of Velcro, which is much softer, not scratchy. So if that goes against your neck, um, you don't notice it quite as much. And then on the um, on the actual tab itself, you have two sections of, uh, of the soft part of Velcro. So uh, you kind of get that double pinch seal on the top and the bottom. Underneath it, you have a metal YKK zipper with a nice long leash on it so you can get in and out of the suit all by yourself. And then if you undo the zipper, you'll notice that this panel on the back and the one over your shoulders is actually the same panel just cut straight down the middle through that logo. This acts to protect your back a bit and protect that zipper. So when your BCD is in position, it's not pushing that zipper directly into your back and your spine and being uncomfortable. You have seven mil of protection um, that just stops it from digging into your back basically. Uh, it also makes it quite hydrodynamic if you're uh, if you're diving or snorkeling uh, without a BCD. Undo that and then underneath that zipper you have two sections of this glide skin material. Now these seal against one another when it's fully zippered up so that's stopping the water from penetrating through the zip and getting straight to your back. It has to slow down warm up before it eventually gets to your back. On the inside, you can see the two separate linings. So the gray lining is the more traditional lining that you'll see on the extremities of the suit. But over the core, you have this thermal lining, this red pinkish lining. And this is much more, uh, much more towel-like. Um, it's got a thicker pile, so it's actually just more absorbent as it were. So when the water does reach there, that really grabs onto it, holds it against your core, lets your core body temperature warm that water up and then holds it against your body. So it's that insulating layer of just warm water all over your core and it doesn't let it move. Right, so reviewing the Xenos 7mm, I've got four different categories and then a fifth overall. So first of all, we're looking at the comfort, then the style, then the warmth, obviously it's a wetsuit, uh, and finally the cost with the overall score at the end. So first of all, who is this for? So this is for divers who want to be diving in colder waters um, or for longer dives. You just need that extra bit of insulation just to uh, keep you nice and warm. Uh, this has a thermal class rating of B, um, A being the best, B being the next best. Um, and this is kind of recommended around 10 to 18 degrees Celsius waters. Again, it's a lot of variables. It depends on how much you feel the cold. It depends on how long you're in the water, your exertion level, all sorts of other things. Um, but that's a kind of rough kind of guidance. As far as comfort, I've given this four out of five. Um, it is a, a very flexible suit. It's very easy to get on and off. It's designed to be very easy to don and doff all by yourself. Um, as you change to different, move on to like the Proteus range, they're not so easy to get on and off, um, but they trade that with the warmth. Once it's on, it is quite warm. Um, so I'd give them this uh, sort of four out of five. It's very flexible um, and it does have nice tailoring. Uh, it's got quite a lot of stitching over it, which does kind of limit how much it can stretch in certain areas, um, but it is uh, still a uh, very flexible suit. Then we're looking at the warmth. So the warmth, so this is a seven mil. Um, again, this is a, um, 
uh, thermal class B. So that's kind of 10 to 18 degrees Celsius waters, uh, which is pretty cold, uh, unusually in a dry suit at that uh, kind of range. But if you're not into dry suits, you don't want to be bothered with that kind of stuff, uh, then yeah, this is definitely sort of worth considering. Uh, again, I've given it four out of five, just because it's thermal class B. It could have had some extra features. Um, so sort of extra seals, extra zippers and all that kind of stuff. Um, but for sort of what it is, it is pretty warm and uh, and yeah, for a seven mil, it's a good, good seven mil. Then we're looking at the style. Um, I quite like this suit. It's uh, It has nice paneling detailing. It has that sort of hourglass kind of fit uh, detailing to it. And it's not just a stock black all over wetsuit that you see so much of anymore. You have a few different tones, you have blacks, you've got greys. So it does stand out a little bit different on the, on the dive site and it's got some very flattering shapes to it. Then when you look at the price, uh, the cost at the moment has a recommended retail price of just under £300, which for a 7 mil wetsuit is pretty good. Um, you can get some cheaper ones, but as far as the kind of the feel of the neoprene and uh, and the comfort, it is uh, is much nicer. It's a softer neoprene, especially on the inside. It's nice and soft against your skin. Um, and there are some five mil wetsuits that are more expensive than this. So yeah, if you're looking for a thick wetsuit, um, doesn't have pockets, all that kind of stuff, um, then yeah, it is, it's definitely a nice wetsuit to, uh, to consider because you can always wear like tech shorts over the top of it to give yourself thigh pockets. And then for an overall score, I've given it nine out of 10. Um, very nice wetsuit. It's kind of that premium wetsuit. Um, it's not the Proteus range, which is a pain to get sort of into. Um, it's that it's designed so that it's very easy to get into, but then once you're in it, you still have plenty of flexibility and just still pretty warm and so yeah if you're in the market for a 7 mil I like it uh, I can definitely recommend the Xenos and that's the fourth element women's Xenos 7 mil wetsuit colder waters this is thermal class B so that's kind of 10 degrees Celsius to 18 degrees depending on how much you feel the cold um, but if you want to dive in colder temperatures or longer dives whilst sort of staying nice and warm, but without going over into dry suit territory, um, then yeah, something like this is definitely worth checking out. There's gonna be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. Click on the link down in the description below to read all about the Xenos 7 mil. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving.